look at my coordinate system, x to the right is in the positive direction, but if I look at my f sub x, um, this component, it's in the negative direction, so that tells me I have a negative component here, and if I look at the y, my y is in the pointing up, it's in the y, um, positive y direction, so this is positive. So that would be my f13. And now let's do the same thing for the force. What's the force on one due to charge number two? Notice that these charges are, um, are opposite, so that means that they're going to attract each other. So if I think about the force on one due to this, it's pulling it this way. So this is going to be my F on one due to two, pulling it this way. And I can do the same thing. I can break it into components. So if I draw my components, this is going to be my Fx here. And this is going to be my Fy. So now F1 due to 2, is, and I'm going to do the same thing. My X component here is going to be um, F12, F12 cosine theta. Now this, the theta here, I'm, going, I'm using this theta right here. So this is my angle. And my y is going to be f12 sine theta. My z is still going to be 0. And now what about my sines? Well, my x is to the left, and my y is down. So that tells me both of these are going to be negative. OK, so now I need to, um, to figure out these angles a little bit. So if I have an equilateral triangle, let's draw this up here. I'm looking at this angle here, and I'm looking at this angle here. Okay, now I can see that um, that these angles, this theta here, is equal to this theta here. So I know that these angles here are equal to each other. And so now if I want to um, find F1, I'm going to add these vectors together. So I'm going to say F um, so we'll do F12 first. So F negative F12 cosine theta and a negative F12 sine theta and 0 plus a negative F13 cosine theta and a positive F13 sine theta. And now I know that my F12 and my F13, those numbers, they're just numbers, they're equal to each other. So this number here, call it, we can even call it, give it, a, you know, assume it's something. Say it's 10. This, this is 10, and this is 10. And if my sine, if my thetas are the same, which we know that they are, then that tells me that this, I can, my y component here is the same as my y component here. And when I add vectors, right, I'm adding the x piece. So this, I would be adding this x piece here. Here, I'm adding the y piece. I'm adding the z piece. So here, I'm going to have 0 because the positive with the, um, the negative with the positive cancels out. My z is 0. And here, I know my f12 and my f13 are the same. So that tells me I'm going to have a negative. Um, and now I'm going to plug in what my f is. So I'm going to have a negative k q squared over d squared times cosine of theta. And now I need to multiply that times 2 because I've got 1 here and 1 here. And they're the same thing, so I get times 2. And now um, we know that the angle here is equal to 60 degrees. So we cosine of 60 degrees, so cosine of 60 is equal to 1 half. So we end up with, um, we can pull the kq squared over d squared out. That's just a, a number, 0, 0. And now if I have, if cosine of 60 is a half, and I still have this 2, then the 2 here and the half cancel, and I'm left with a negative 1. And so, so that's how 
um, we can figure out what the ch force is on um, Q1 due to Q2 and Q3. Um, one other thing to note is um, another interesting way to think about this is you could um, you can also look at this, let me just go back for a second. Um, so if I have a charge here and a charge here, this is negative, this is positive, and I'm looking at this equilateral triangle and this is positive, and I know the, um, the force here is away, and the force here is this way. And because it's an equilateral triangle and I know that this angle is equal to this angle, then I know my y components cancel. So I'm going to have a y component here, and I'm going to have a y component here. And they're in opposite directions, so they cancel each other out. My x component, I have an x component for this vector, and I have an x component for this vector, and so they add. So it tells me that I'm going to have, that, that when I try to figure out what the net force is, I know I'm going to have a net force, F net, in the x direction, and I know it's going to be 2 times Fx. If, if, since here Fx is the same, since my charges are the same, I'm going to have 1 Fx plus another Fx, and I'm going to end up with 2 Fx. So that um, is another way to think about uh, how to figure out what the direction of the force is.